Hi everyone, I'm Sally and I run Still Mind, a mindfulness and well-being practice here in the UK. I hadn't been running classes all that long before lockdown hit us, but I absolutely loved the feeling of sharing meditation with people that had wanted to try it, but not been able to for various reasons. One being that there just wasn't anywhere local here, where I live, that ran sessions until fairly recently. But since lockdowns happened, the world has opened up via live streaming and I can truly say that it hasn't changed my feeling of being able to share it with people. In fact, I'm sharing it with more people now than when I held face-to-face -face groups as people really like the fact they don't have to travel to go to a group. And they're also able to watch the videos live or at a time that suits them. This has motivated me in my own meditation practice as now I'm able to meditate every day with other people as well as doing it on my own if I want to, which is great because I still do 10 minutes a day quiet meditation, which grounds me and the group meditation has given me a sense of well-being and togetherness, which is great. What have I personally got out of sharing my time and my meditation practice? Well, it's a real sense of a wider family and a togetherness and a sense of being with people of a similar mindset and also real joy at being able to introduce people to meditation who might not have done it otherwise. I truly believe that in a weird way, the virus has made me and other meditation leaders think about how to reach out to a wider audience, both in my local community and farther afield. Thank goodness for a husband who runs a live stream business and could help me through Facebook Live, setting up my own online classes. Otherwise, it would have been so much harder and much more stressful, which would have completely defeated the object. So, I do free sessions on my Still Mind Facebook page three times a week, meditation stories for schools every weekday, and one hour long classes on my Still Mind website each week that people either pay per view or buy a monthly subscription. And feedback has been really, really positive. I've had messages from children's parents saying the children love them and could they be a bit longer, which is amazing. I've had messages from others saying that they've been able to sleep better and feel more relaxed and less anxious. I've also had one say that they feel less nervous about the expectations of meditating due to having a busy mind and also they're now making meditating a part of daily life. So ka -ching, what a result. I think that moving my classes online now has really helped connect to so many people regardless of where they physically are in my local area in the country and even in the world. I was a complete novice at this until April and hadn't even heard of it. Wow, times have changed. And it also gives them a chance to chat, weirdly, even though we're not allowed to get together. We can, if that makes sense, through the meditation. It's a bringing together of like-minded people who just want to de-stress with others. So to grab the positive out of this pandemic, it's made me reach out, get tech savvy, and introduce meditation to a much wider group of people than I ever could have imagined. And that can't be bad.